JPARC is a multi-research facility based on the high-intensity proton drivers. We would like to answer the very basic questions to humankind. How universe began and how matter created? JPARC's high-intensity beams will enable us to answer such kind of questions through unprecedented precision in the particle and nuclear physics. The goal of particle and nuclear physics is to figure out the basic rules that govern the phenomena in the universe. We have constructed two experimental facilities for particle and nuclear physics experiments, which use 30 GB proton beam from main beam. The beam lines and detectors are built to enable a number of experiments. T2K, our flagship experiment, uses the neutrino beam from our neutrino facility to explore neutrino oscillation. T2K is the Tokaito Kamioka Long Baseline Neutrino Oscillation Experiment. We produce a beam of neutrinos here at the JPARC Accelerator, and we send them to the Super Kamiokande Detector, which is 295 kilometers away from here, uh, on the west side of Japan. A few years ago, T2K made the world's first ever observation of electron neutrino appearance. So we definitively measured the appearance of electron neutrinos from a pure muon neutrino beam. The next step for T2K is to try to measure CP violation in the lepton sector. Scientists know that CP symmetry is slightly violated in the Koch system, but so far, we do not know for the case of lepton. If CP symmetry is violated, the rates are different for neutrino and antineutrino. T2K data up to 2017 show larger appearance rate for neutrino and smaller for antineutrino. This is not yet conclusive, but we are very excited. The Hyper Kamiokande detector is a huge water shrank off detector that's now proposed near the site of the Super Kamiokande detector. Uh, it's basically 10 times bigger. So the goal is at the same time to also increase the beam power here at JPARC up to something like 1.3 megawatts. We hope to be able to measure even more precisely the neutrino oscillation parameters. In the Hadron Experimental Facility, high intensity and high quality pion, kaon, and muon beams are produced. This facility allows researchers to explore tiny signals of unexplained phenomena based on state-of-the-art theories. The Hadron Experimental Facility is a multi-purpose experimental facility for nuclear, hadron, and particle physics. This facility allows us to pursue hypernuclear physics, the search for exotic hadrons, hadron spectroscopy, and dilepton measurements. We can study the interaction between a hyperon and a nucleon, so-called the YN interaction. The exotic state, chaonic nuclei, has been observed in two experiments in different reactions. We are now working on a new high-momentum beamline which will provide primary protons with momentum of 30 GeV over C, 10 times higher than that of the current beamlines. KOTO is an experiment designed to measure the very small branching ratio of the neutral kaon decay into a neutral pion and two neutrinos with less than 10% uncertainty. This decay mode directly breaks particle-antiparticle symmetry, so-called CP violation. KOTO started the hunting for the CP violating real decay of neutral kaon in 2013. KOTO has continued its physics data acquisition every year, and the data analysis is ongoing. The name of experiment COMET stands for Coherent Muon to Electron Transition. Based on the proposed new physics beyond the standard model, a muon is expected to convert to an electron coherently once every 10 quadrillion muon decays. JPARC provides one of the most powerful pulse muon beam in the world. To avoid any contamination in the muon beam, we use long and curved transport cylinder magnet enabling us to perform a very precise experiment. JPAC's uh, material life science experimental facility provides opportunities for many different particle and nuclear physics experiments. MLF includes 20 neutron instruments and three muon instruments. These are used for a number of research fields, from fundamental physics to industrial research. We collaborate uh, with a number of different partners. We work with the universities to build new instruments. We also work with government on projects like the Need Rising, which conducts real-time measurements in lithium battery. 
during the charging and the discharging process. Material and life science experimental facility is also focused on fundamental physics research. On one of our neutron beam lines, uh, researchers are now measuring the lifetime of a neutron with very high pressure. Japan's combination of high intensity beams and state of the art detector system means our experiment can reach beyond the standard model. The combination of all these intensity frontier experiments means we are fully equipped to better understand our universe. The multi purpose research facility aspect of JPARC is very beneficial, providing a wide range of scientific opportunities. JPARC will continue to shape the new physics with ever-evolving high-intensity beams.